Well, it don't apply to the way I feel inside. Loving you was easy. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to start the video. <laughs> yeah. What's popping, guys? Can you guys tell I'm so freaking excited? Like, y'all, you guys are back for another video, another Tea Tuesday. About to give you guys some tea. Um, well, hopefully, let's see what these emails say. I'm gonna get right into the video, guys. Uh, let me see. Okay. So this first question is from this lovely girl named Anna. Hi, Anna. She did not state that she wanted to be anonymous. So girl, I'm calling your name. Anna, what's up? Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and being a subby. I really appreciate it. So Anna's question is very small and short. I think I meant short, very short. <laughs> so Anna's question does say, hey, Kadisha, love you, girl. I love you too, babe. Um, it says, have you tried online dating? If not, would you? I need to. But um, if I was in that position, um, I would never, well, I don't really see how somebody can be in that, like, I would never, I would never look into online dating, and I think that's just because, girl, I watched the first 48, and, um, I know there's, like, all these old episodes, but, girl, even all these, like, criminal, you know, like, these crime investigation shows and stuff like that, and I've seen a lot of them where girls meet guys online and they end up dead. I'm not about to be in a body bag. So no, I would not do online dating at all. It's not my thing. I mean, there's Christian Mingle. Um, that's probably like the only one that I know because I was used to see like advertised in commercials and stuff like that. Um, and still, I don't care if you Christian or not, I would not do online dating. Sorry. I feel a hair right in the middle of my face. I would not do online dating because people are sick in this world. They are crazy. Look at Donald Trump, girl. Like, you don't know what you get, right? So, you don't know if he really be, like, it could be catfish. Like, no, I would not do online dating at all, Anna, to answer your question. Thank you so much for sending that question, though. And um, my next question is... Okay. Oh, this is a funny question. Y'all ain't sending me no tea. You guys are asking me questions. I want tea from your guys' life. That's what I want, okay? But this question is so cute. It says, if you could be invisible for a day, would you spy on your significant other? Girl. Girl. Do I need to say more? Yes, I would. If I could be invisible for a day. I would definitely spy. I mean, if he's going to the washroom, I'm going to the washroom. If he's going to check his niggas, I'm going to check them too. <laughs> I would definitely spy um, if I would be invisible for a day. Um, I would definitely spy for sure. But we're not invisible, so if you're really asking me would you pre or would you spy like now, human wise absolutely not no i would not i'm i'm afraid to um i'm afraid to find things that i wouldn't want to find or i just think really you get what you're looking for you know what i'm saying um so right now in this lifetime without me not being invisible no i would not at all spy i would like to I've thought about it many times ago, <laughs> you know, before, um, but um, no, I would not at all spy um, on a significant other. I wouldn't do it. I really wouldn't. If I was invisible though, yes, I would. <laughs> but um, in my human flesh, I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, girl, I would definitely spy if I was invisible. Tanya, thanks for sending that question, Tanya. That's so dope. So let's see. Let me go back out here and go in. 
I'm sorry y'all, I'm just looking for, I should have like had all these questions like just there so that it's easier for me to read. Now I know for next time, side note, do you guys like my hair? I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I really don't, I'm not into the curl, like the bounce, like it's too much. I feel like my mom, you know, but I'm probably gonna just straighten it out because like, I'm just not into the bounce. I mean, it's cute. Like I took pictures for Snap and everybody loves it. I'm getting all these sweet comments. Thank you guys so much for sending me all those sweet comments. You guys are all beautiful too. Yeah, thank you. Um, but yeah, I feel like Pat, I don't know. Anyways, Pat's my mom by the way guys. Um, okay, ooh, this, wait, is this from the same girl from last time? Oh no, it's not, wow. Okay, it's almost like similar to like my last Tea Tuesday, a question that one of the girls asked me. Sorta, not really, but anyways. So, hey girl, this, this is in regards to a best friend I used to have. Um, I recently found out, and I didn't state her name because she does, it does stay right here, y'all. Like, it states anonymous in caps. So, I ain't about to call her name so anybody can come after me. It says, hey girl, this question is in regards to a best friend. Um, and best friend is in quotes. Okay, girl, she must have did you dirty. Um, it says, I used to have, I, a best friend, sorry, I used to have. Um, I recently found out that she's now dating my ex-boyfriend. And I stopped talking to her a few months ago. Ever since, she's been trying to speak to me. Should I speak back to her? I do miss our friendship, but I cannot forgive her for, um, I cannot forgive her now that she is dating him. What would you do? Um, well, first of all, let me say, I do know what it is to miss a best friend's friendship. I definitely know I've lost a best friend before. Like this girl was like my sister, like as they would say, Bati and Bench. Um, we literally were like this, like wherever she was, I was, wherever I was, she was. And we literally stopped talking over some dumb shit. So I com I completely understand missing that friendship. I get it. But in this case, I mean, cause our disagreement or whatever was like some baby food but like this you asked me should i speak back to her absolutely not i definitely don't think you should speak back to her um and she was your best friend obviously this girl has been preying your man or your ex-man from time from when you guys been in a relationship when you guys were together um she's obviously you know been looking at him a certain way you know what i'm saying checking him out maybe you know what I'm just looking at him a way that a best friend should not be looking at your man. So I definitely don't think you should talk back to her because what are you guys going to talk about? I mean, it's going to be crickets. Like there's really nothing to say. An apology can't fix that because once you're emotionally damaged, you're damaged. Like there's no, you know what I mean? There's no, oh yeah, we can be best friends. Like, no, that's awkward. She's sleeping with your ex-man. She spends nights with him, days with him. They go out. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason why you should speak back to him. I think, honestly, girl, move on with your life. There are pe people come and people go. You will meet another friend um, and you'll know who's truly your friend because a best friend would not date your ex-man. I'll tell you that from now. Um, and you ask what I would do again, I would not talk back to her. Um, it would be a lock off thing forever for life. Like it just wouldn't go down like that. So, um, now I see why you want to stay anonymous. I would too. Um, but, um, thank you so much for your question. And I hope I was able to answer that girl. Honestly, you're better than that. Don't talk back to her. She doesn't deserve your friendship. Um, just keep it moving and God will bless you, honestly. Karma is a bitch, so um, yeah, girl, keep it moving, okay? Sorry, guys, if I'm looking over here, I'm just looking on the, the time on my um, camera, making sure it's not about to just shut off. So let me see here. I'm just gonna see if I can find another question. Okay, oh, whoa, this is a really good one. Um, so, okay, this is another girl who wants to stay anonymous. 
Um, so it says, hey Kadisha, I love your channel. Been subscribed to you since day one. Sorry y'all if I'm like real all up in your grill. I'm scratching my feet. Um, but it says, love your channel. Been subscribed since day one and I think you're doing so well. Thank you so much. Um, it says here, I would love your honest opinion. Please keep me anonymous. No problem, girl, I got you. Um, it says, I've been dating this guy for five months. Oh, okay for five months and he's and he's been asking me to have a baby i keep telling him no but he's so persistent what do you think i should do all right let me just look like directly at you yeah you the the anonymous girl listen get your ass up out of there if you're dating a guy for five months i'm sorry mm. What, why would he want to, like, it just, five months is nothing at all. You don't know a person in five months. So I'm going to tell you, like, if this was ever me, which it would never be, get your ass up out of there. Um, and I know it may be hard if you're in love or whatever the case is, but to see somebody on you so much and so persistent about you having a baby and they've only known you for like five months, well... Well, I don't know if it only, well, it does state that you've been dating him for five months. So I don't know if you knew him longer than that or not, but dating somebody, whether you did or not dating for somebody for five months and them asking you to have a baby and they're so persistent, girl, to me, that's almost like he wants to lock you down, um, some sort of control. Like once you have a baby, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't going nowhere. So I definitely don't think you should have a baby um at this point but i don't know your life you know what i mean i don't really know what it is that you want to do um but if this was me in the situation i would be out of there that would be like a <laughs> red flag um to me like five months is nothing once again so um i mean i definitely would not at all have a baby for him if he's so persistent in asking within five months of us dating um so that's personally what i think i definitely don't think you should get your self together you know what i'm saying make sure you have education make sure you have a job make sure you know what i'm saying you have a house make sure whatever make sure you are comfortable with your lifestyle and your ways of living before you ever bring a child into this world um because having a child is hard it is not easy at all they cost money they're very expensive um and i mean you just want to make sure that you're with a good guy that even if you guys break up one day you guys can still can get it together for your kid and i personally don't think dating somebody for five months you can tell you know what i'm saying i definitely think like he need to put some years in that he needs to put in some years so girl i would say tell him no tell him stop asking don't give him that cookie if that's the case like you know what i'm saying like you just gotta do for you um so no five months is ridiculous i mean if this was like a few years i would definitely say sure i mean if you're feeling to have a baby and you're comfortable and you're well set up financially um definitely go ahead and have this baby but five months i definitely don't think so so i hope i'm able to answer your question don't hate me i'm not saying like leave him or anything uh well i did say get up out of there i guess <laughs> i'm saying leave him i'm just just tell him how you feel you know what i'm saying just say no you want to put some years in that you don't feel like you know him you know what i mean like just let off how you feel and um, if he can handle it, then good. You know what I mean? If he can't, then I would definitely say move on. Okay. I think that is all the questions I am going to do. Thank you guys so, so, so much for <laughs> sending me your questions. I truly appreciate it. I'm so happy that you guys are actually participating. It's such a great feeling that you guys want some information, some advice from me. Um, so keep sending those questions to Kadisha Lee at gmail.com. I'll put it right here somewhere there <laughs> kadisha lee at gmail.com um send me an email guys 
send me some tea y'all don't be sending me no questions about my life okay you guys will find out about my life through my vlogs um but send me some tea um let me know some something you know what i mean that you would want advice on please keep it appropriate guys i don't want any inappropriate questions i will not read them um i will not post them um they just won't be in the video so um again guys kadisha lee at gmail.com thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel you keep coming back so just hit that subscribe button like the video leave me a comment and say what's up share it if you want i would appreciate it tell your friends about me tell your mama about me tell your grandma your grandpa your daddy your brother your sister your uncle your aunt <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Your cousins, your baby father, <laughs> um, tell your baby father's baby mother. I don't know. Tell everybody to subscribe to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate you guys for coming back again to see crazy old me. Um, and I'll see you guys next Tea Tuesdays. Also, guys, watch my vlogs if you haven't watched them. Um, my makeup tutorials, anything else that's within the playlist, go, playlist, go ahead and check it out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing, so much for watching, and so much for dealing with me, putting up with my ass. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. Bye. You got my attention, I got your attention, attention My eyes were on you the whole time, confession